What up, Coop Group? Before we get to the video, I have a quick ad for you. As you see on the screen, I'm going to be doing my last and final stream ever, which is going to be a huge Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal, crystal opening. It's going to be my classic interactive opening where you help me open crystals and I guess what champion it is. It's a lot of fun. If you've never seen it before, go check out my other streams that I've done before um, of crystal opening and... I'm always interacting with chat. I want you to be there. I want you to share it. It'll be my last and final stream ever. Um, if you have any questions as to why or whatever, or just any comments, just feel free to send me a line message or message on Discord, or just comment below in the video, and I will happily give my explanation then. But anyways, the opening will be November 29th at 12 p.m. PST, California time, Oregon time, Seattle time, whatever you want to call it. Um... So be there. I hope to see you there. It's going to be fun to interact with you in the chat. And for a last and final stream, I will still be doing dropping videos, but it's my final stream. So please be there and I'll see you there. Let's get to this video. What up, group group? Welcome to Alliance War Season 30, War Number 8, where SAS takes on FSI for the second time this season. It's a rematch. The first time we fought against them, I think it was the first second war of the season, um, we actually tied them, and we won on fight time. So this is their rematch, and I'm hoping that we can just prove ourselves and actually get a win instead of a tie and win on fight time. But we'll see what happens, and they are out for revenge. So we need a win to stay in Masters, to get to Masters. Oh man, this is an intense war. The team that I was assigned was Ghost, Wasp, and Red Hulk. Wasp for Synergy, Ghost for three fights, and Red Hulk for one. Um... For both section one and section two, I'm sharing a path, so I'm not back up, but I'm just like I'm sharing it and taking one fight on both section one and one fight in section two. Actually, I'm taking I guess two fights section one because that Arcus um, shared note. Then that Mirka Chavez, which I just anytime I see Chavez, I'm just scared because I know that she's gonna heavy me, especially on a stun immune fight where I can't parry her really. Uh, but that Surfer on Hydro Shift, that was actually a bit worried for, but. Some people in my alliance made it a bit easier, and plus I had a few comments from other people. Um, one, Anonymous from GG40, and two, Super Sam from 4Loki. Both kind of helped me out there and told me it's an easy fight with Red Hawk. Um, I did a lot of duels and got it down. Um, but yeah, at this point, we're winning 3-0, to zero, I think, or 3-1. to one. So we have a good lead. Um, but anyways, by the time the buddy on path 3, who's going to clear me for vision, because um, I have to take the first and third fight, not, and not the second, so it means I have to... Not use the same three minute boost, which I'm kind of sad about. I was kind of do, I was gonna do a, um, a power step one for this fight just to get to the special two quicker, which would have made it. You'll see what happens. Um, it would have made that fight a lot easier, but because I had to share this node and the dude didn't move as fast, I actually lost out all my boosts. Um, and I th he told me he was ready, but I was busy with my family walking around at some fair. I'm like, all right, let me do this fight since you're ready. Let's go. Um, I want to do the same boost for this fight and for the third fight for the vision fight. So for this fight, my goal is one, don't get parried, two, don't get porker poppered, and three, don't let him evade me. Which with Ghost, it's pretty hard to get evaded. Um, but since I don't have Power Step 1, I need him to hit into my face a lot. But a lot of my duels, when I have him hit into my face, um, he parried me. But anyways, dude, I'm so pissed off that he's being so defensive right here. Watch, watch right here. Right before I get a special 2, and I hit him, because I parry him in this fight, I get porker poppered. Because I parried him in this fight, I put debuffs on him. While he has his spider charges, I get a porka popper. So pissed off about that, man. If I had a, a special start one, that would have never happened. I would have got a special two so quick and been over. <sighs> but anyways, I, I could take that Nick Fury with Ghost, but we ended up taking it with Omega Red, a lot safer. Um, as you see, I actually lost out all my boosts on this fight. So to reboost up again, luckily, um, because I'm unboosted, I can use less potions. So I'm using a 14 and a 6k. Um, it's one to three. I'm going to go in on this Vision Arcus. For this fight, I am going to have a Power Step 1 boost because I need to be able to um, get to a Special 2 as quick as I can. Because if I get Armor Broken or he throws a Special 1 and corners me, I'm going to get Armor Broken and then I can no longer phase. And if I can't phase with Hazard Shift, I'm just dead. I'm going to get cold snapped. I'm going to get incinerated and poisoned and it's just not good. So I'm reboosting up again with some 20% boosts because I am actually have one 30% boost left. Um... So yeah, again, the assignments were great. Uh, I think they this, they did amazing with Section 1 assignments. Section 2 assignments were pretty good too. It's just sad that I happen to be the ghoster, so these are the fights that I get. Um, it's not a classic Coop video unless he complains. Thank you, Dreamin'. Um, 
Anyways, this fight's really easy. It's really quick as long as he runs into my phase, which he is. He runs into my phase right here. I get one debuff. It's enough just to destroy him right here. He's done. I'm at 100% health still. Great fight. Went perfect. Um, super quick. Now on to a third fight. Um, my, my buddy Blazin, who is one of the officers in the battle group, he actually is sharing the path nine with me because I think there was a Magneto, which I couldn't take, of course, <laughs> with Ghost or Red Hulk. I mean, maybe Red Hulk as long as I can do the right thing. But the fact that the global's up, I would never take that with Red Hulk. Um, he actually destroyed that fight, did a great job. I'm tagging him. Um, I probably should have given him that one um, energy. But yeah, I felt really good after the Arcus fight. Spider-Ham fight, not so much. But again, I was walking around walking about just everywhere trying to make sure that I had um, time and I actually got home by the time. Well, back to my hotel because I was traveling by the time I got the Vision Argus fight and Blazing moved so quickly that I still had my, my boost on for this fight. So I was so happy. Sadly, I have two 200% tech boosts left and because I want this fight over as quick as possible, I'm putting on one of my 200% tech boosts, um, hoping that after I do a special two, that the special three will kill her, and I don't have to beat any other specials. But this is my last ghost fight this war, although it's possible I might have another one. Um, so yeah, I backed up here, because I know that she loves to throw heavy first thing, but if you back up, she won't throw heavy at all. Um, so my goal is to make sure she doesn't throw heavy. I got a nice intercept there, no clue how I got that intercept at all. Um, pushed right to a special three, gonna throw it off right away to make sure I don't get recoiled, because if I end up finishing this fight on the special three, the recoil never activates, and I'll be at 100% health. Come on, please. It looks like it's not going to finish her off. 7 and 2%. Close. Whatever. She has a special 2. Luckily, she's not in any zones. Because if she was, I would have died there from that special. It would have been terrible. Um, it would have been blockable. And I, I was holding my block. She threw a special 2 into my block. I was so mad. Um, but that fight went decent. Um, Ghost should never do this mojo fight because of the indestructible. After getting a special, just waiting that out, it's just, it's just bad. So we had a um, Spidey 299 take it. I think Stutes took it and did amazing. Um, now we're doing our mini boss pushes, although we never we didn't take the boss down until later. But um, I actually backed out before I took this fight because I noticed that my buddy on um, who was going to take boss was very low in items. So if you couldn't take boss, I'm like, dude, I'm going to back up and I can probably take boss noted. I've seen... Um, Weapon X taken with Hazard Shift. I've taken Hazard Shift with Weapon X before, but as a boss, there's more health. But I think I can take that with Ghost as long as I just don't phase in this whole block. Um, but because Severed, my buddy who, um, another ba officer in ba the battle group, because he actually had his Ultron full health and didn't really need his items, he was going to take boss. So I'm like, all right, let me take this fight with Red Hulk. Um, I did a bunch of duels and I made sure that one, don't get cornered or else... Uh, high ground's just gonna uh, block damage. Um, and two, base special ones, because base special ones will give me some armor breaks as well as heavies, which means I will heal up. I actually put on coagulate for this fight. Um, and maybe in off season, I love to take a weapon X with hazard shift on. But this fight is actually gonna be so quick. Watch, I'm gonna be special ones. I did a lot of duels to make sure that I got the special one dexed correctly. I mean, yeah, now there's two high grounds, one high ground up right now, but if I block fully this special one, it's like three to four hits. Um, perfect dash. I'm healing up so much, <laughs> so much from the armor break. Another perfect dex again. Um, punishing right there. You'll see later, I do go for intercept. I think he doesn't feed into the first one, but the second one he will feed into. Um, another perfect dex again. Thought I missed that one, but it's fine. I'm not bothering throwing any specials in this fight because recoil, don't need to. He didn't run into my, uh, my intercept there. But I think the next one he will. Because he's cornered, I feel a lot safer to do intercepts. Um, I do have an indestructible boost running right now, so if he does parry me from this, but I'm like, no, he's not gonna. I blocked that, whatever. Two high ground, I don't care. 99%. Didn't even have to throw a special. That fight was so easy. Man, I'm gonna do that fight forever from now on. If, if there's ever a surfer there, give me that fight. Give me all these fights I was given today besides Chavez. She scares the hell out of me. Um, but yeah, we ended this war actually... We had a buddy move really slow on the left there to give some pre-fights. We actually lost this war. Congrats to FSI. I believe you owe us some feet picks if you're watching this. I believe because that was the deal. Um, but yeah, we lost this war. They did a good job. I think they finished under 10 deaths. We finished with so many deaths. We had so many unfortunate, so many unfortunate deaths that just didn't go well. Um, I think just holiday season, it's the hard time to be fighting in war. We should have been given the whole week off. 
Thank you, Graban, for just considering your player base. Can we are just so happy. Uh, but yeah, we finished with 13 deaths, which is way more than the last time we fought them. We only had 9 deaths. We had so many unfortunate deaths. Just, I think we learned our lesson. And next war, the next few wars are probably going to be a lot better. Because we just know some of these fights that we scheduled were good matchups, but just bad fights. And some were just bad matchups and good fights. Um, but yeah, as you see, we are just barely out of Masters. I guess 8 points, eight eight positions in Platinum 1. Which means we have four wars to get to Masters and stay there. So we have to win the next few wars. Um, we cannot fall to Tier 2 or else we are screwed and we'll be in Platinum. We want the Tier 6 Basic and Tier 3 Alpha. So we really want Masters. Um, it'd be nice to be fighting for Masters Top 10. But kind of hard when we're just having a rough season. Even I've had a rough season. So I can't bash anybody at all. Um, Ghost is still destroying this season with all the... with all Being a huge attacker this season for me. Um, Red Hawk is doing great too. Seems like these are my... just. Max attackers, um, although I ran out of boosts, so I hope I get a lot of boosts soon <laughs> for uh, Ghost. I have open crystals and just no tech boosts, man. No tech boosts. And it's just so annoying to just get the RNG. I get all the other boosts by tech because it knows I want tech boosts. Uh, but anyways, another shameless plug again. Make sure you come to my live stream on November 29th at 12 p.m. PST. Um, if you don't know what that is, just look up California time and look when 12 p.m. PST is. I'm hoping to, again, see all of you there. This will be my final live stream. Um, if you don't watch it on demand, it's better to watch when you're there because it's an interactive crystal stream. Um, it's my final stream, so come and check it out. And check out the rest of my videos. There will be four more wars. I'll catch you guys later. Coop, signing off. Happy gaming.